r slash ask reddit. Teachers of Reddit, what is the craziest thing you have seen on a student's social media? Not me but my wife. A student posted a suicide note on Snapchat. Another student showed it to my wife. She ran to the front office and called 911. Kid was home with his mom and had overdosed in his room. Kid was taken to a hospital and survived. Saved his life. Not exactly social media originally but it definitely ended up there. I teach high school and the students were talking about a middle school student who wrote a novel. It turned out to be an extremely graphic fan fiction of two of the male middle school teachers. The girl that wrote it was in 7th grade. We are talking about full-on novel, around 200 pages and 13 chapters. Supposedly it is only book one in the series. The crazy thing is, my students showed me one paragraph before I knew what it was and it was hands down the best technical writing of any student I have ever had. Again, I teach high school. She was in the 7th grade. Unbelievably well written, and unbelievable a 7th grader was able to describe things with such disturbing detail. Well I don't follow any students on Facebook, but one of my coworkers deals with kids in a different way and is more tuned in on their parents on social media. Told me a elementary schooler's mom went on Facebook live, naked from the waist down, spread eagle telling people to look at her house pussy. Mom is a coke head, apparently. Not a teacher, but some kid at my teen's school posted naked pictures of him being with another student's mom. Both were naked in the photo. Small town, word travels to everyone. The mom and her husband got a divorce and they all moved out of town. Was a wild ride in our little shitter town. Edit, I should clarify that the kid had just turned 18 at the time of the photo. These teachers at my school found a kid's meme page and keep in mind was a preppy stuck up school. Anyway the meme account had the usually slightly edgy kind of content but the school acted as if it were a hate crime. Parents were called in. There was a whole school assembly on social media and the appropriate content that should be posted. The school went as far as suspending the kids behind the account for one week and giving detentions to every kid who liked the memes. The whole ordeal was just stupid and left me wondering if teachers even cared about the kids who were very clearly smashed on drugs. I had a student tell me that he had to go out and look for his roommate's body and therefore would not be in class and that his roommate had been killed in a kayaking incident. Now, when a student dies we are told. At some past institutions this was not the case, for example, if you had a student from your course commit suicide you were just supposed to act like nothing was wrong and that nothing had happened and that they had never been there. So quite honestly was like okay, this might be true, or dude might be lying. It was a few years ago and so I got on Facebook, found the student, and identified the roommate. Unfortunately it was true, and fortunately he was not the one that found the body, and the announcement came out slightly thereafter. I was able to excuse the absence without further evidence, which is always a nice thing to be able to do for somebody. The crazy thing, though, was that his roommate's quote was what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. It was. Uncomfortable. When I was in graduate school, I was living with a cop as a roommate. One time, I came home and saw her clearly on one of my students' Facebook accounts. He had posted pictures of himself in the dorm doing illegal stuff alcohol and weeds alike, expected illegal stuff for a college kid. But, it was incredibly awkward for me because she told me they were investigating him and then I got to see him in class the next day. I worked a be careful what you put on social media lesson into what we were doing, but he ended up getting kicked out of the dorms not long after and I'm not sure if they pursued anything else. This isn't really crazy but, oh man, I stressed myself out so much in that week. I felt bad for him because she was talking about nailing him to the wall for it. But, I also felt like I couldn't openly warn him. And yes, this story is old because students were still on Facebook and weed was still a fairly serious charge. Also, I was awkward and young and today I think I would just openly warn the student lol. While using Google Docs in class, I saw a student was using the chat feature to send memes to another kid in class. Unfortunately, they were really edgy tilde. Anti-Semitic, Incest, 9-11, I work in NYC, Pedophilia etc. I had to grab the computer and make screenshots of everything, which sickened me and was a totally waste of my school day. He was the valedictorian that year. The principal didn't even want to believe it was his account, and didn't until I showed him a selfie the kid had also sent, rolling eyes face. He had to come into school an hour early every day for two months to do community service work. The incident made his speech and it was funny. He did learn his lesson, and I'm glad he learned it in middle school instead of getting caught the following year.
where he'd be on a huge scholarship to an extremely fancy private boarding school, and probably get expelled. In my second year of teaching I had this my kid in my class whose Facebook profile picture was him holding a gun pointed at the camera. Okay, maybe doesn't sound super crazy but mind you I taught 5th grade and his mom was his Facebook friend. The scary party was that he was kicked out of school at the end of the year before for bringing a gun to school, 4th grade. His mom also thought he was a prophet. I literally spent that whole year wondering if he would bring a gun to school. He was seriously off his rocker and his mom never made him take his meds. Second not really social media, but I had a student who looked up boys effing their moms on a school issued Kindle. This kid was only in 4th grade and to make it worse in 3rd grade, I had him 2 years in a row, because I looped up, he sexually harassed a female student and wrote graphic, disturbing letters. Kid seriously has me worried. Not a teacher, but in my high school there was a guy who posted a dimly lit video of him committing suicide. His friends reported the post to a teacher, who called the police and an ambulance. The responders arrived at the guy's house to find him completely okay. Turns out, he posted a video he found on the internet that looked enough like him. He didn't try to commit suicide. They took him to the hospital anyway to evaluate him. He stuck to his story until the teacher raided him out, was a close-knit alternative school where the students were close to and on a first-name basis with teachers to try and get kids to see the school as a community slash go to classes regularly. This same kid threw a Halloween party earlier that same year where 100 kids showed up and hung out outside a snazzy building only to realize after midnight that all of his excuses about why we couldn't go on amounted to the fact that he didn't even live there. Weird guy. I wonder what he's up to now. I was teaching 8th grade English in a low income slash high crime area. We had one student who was really hard he was loud, obnoxious, rude and downright mean to most of the staff and other students. For some reason I really liked him and he felt the same. Always respectful to me and often helped me keep the class in line. The other teachers slash students would always make comments about how we will see him up for murder one day and I would stick up for him, he came from a really bad home life most were not fully aware of. Anyway, he friended me on Facebook at the end of the school year and I accepted. About 4 years later I see an update posted by him, he posted quite a bit from a couple nights before that simply showed a gun and bullets with the caption some bitches are going to pay. Getting my turf back or something like that. Anyway, long story short he was involved in a drive-by and killed a 17-year-old kid who was at a rival's party he was not the intended victim. Anyway, when the news ran the story and showed his Facebook post is what helped the police find him my blood ran cold. I wish I would have seen the post earlier or could have done something. He was sentenced to 20 years, since they couldn't prove who pulled the trigger. Still makes me sad I really thought he would break the cycle of poverty and prison that has run through his family line forever. <laughs> Obligatory not a teacher. My brother told me that one of his classmates kept insulting one of the teachers and leaving really strong insults on his Facebook posts and private messages the teacher knew who the guy was and never allowed him to take any midterm exams with his subject. The guy wondered why the teacher knew he did it his friends asked him if he left something leading to him the guy was using his Facebook page with his name and picture of his as the profile picture as well, my brother told me the guy was an idiot but this cemented the idea he was for me. Ex high school teacher here. One of my year 11, 16 to 17 year old, girls had her modeling shots on her public Instagram. The shots were topless, featured fake blood, sex toys, and another model, who I didn't know. It had already made the rounds, and been reported to the school by the time I was shown. The kid was already at risk, so it was just another massive red flag that she needed far more help and support than she was getting. A student was admitted to Stanford and tweeted like got into at Standard or something. Stanford apparently checked out his Twitter and he had tweets that were misogynistic and other tweets talking about smoking weed. Stanford rescinded his admission and called the school to let the principal know exactly why his admission was rescinded. He ended up being fine, went to another good school on a full scholarship, but not as good as Stanford. An expensive lesson about social media. Not me, but it happened to an acquaintance of mine when he was in high school, he's not a teacher either, one of the students in his class went missing, parents were freaking out because it was unusual for their kid to disappear without a trace like that. A week later the cops found his decapitated head, cops never found the rest of his body though. My acquaintance tells me the whole school was freaking out about what happened, apparently the guy was a small-time drug dealer and something happened. Holy fark that escalated quickly. 
the area where I was growing up was pretty bad, a couple of suburbs away I used to go to Saturday school language lessons to learn about my culture and language etc. The school was in a real bad suburb where there was a major heroin epidemic going on at the time, this was in the early to mid 90s. Every day as kids we'd find used needles, addicts in the school toilets passed out, worst was when two younger girls found an addict had OD'd in the girls toilets. The parents and teachers complained about safety issues to the Saturday schools board and they ended up moving the lessons to another school a few suburbs over which was much safer. I'd love it if you liked and subscribed.